The athletes now competing in Sochi have spent years preparing for their shot at Olympic gold. But sometimes victory depends on some other people who've been at it for years. Engineers. Here's Benita Nair. They careen around the track at 80 miles an hour, head first, with no steering system other than their bodies. It's why the fit of the sled is so important for the skeleton competition and why four teams of engineers took five years to design it. I think that when you're talking about this kind of equipment, they're, they're just shaving off hundredths of a second. Jennifer Bogo is an editor with Popular Science magazine. She compares the Winter Olympics to an arms race in technology. She showed us the revamped skeleton sled. What's the biggest change? Probably the biggest change to athletes is the fact that this saddle where they lay down in is, is custom molded to their bodies. So they literally made casts of the athletes and used it to bend the steel in such a way that it frames them perfectly. No American has won a medal in the two-person bobsled since 1952, so this year they overhauled it. U.S. athletes enlisted engineers from car company BMW. They shed 15 pounds from the frame and made the sled more aerodynamic. They actually redistributed the weight in the bobsled to lower its center of gravity, which also made it faster. At today's final training run in Sochi, skier Bodie Miller had the fastest time coming down the hill. When he and his teammates compete for the medal, they'll be wearing new suits modeled after shark skin. Scientists have found out over time that the really smooth fabric isn't necessarily the fastest. If a fabric has a little bit of a dimple to it or a little bit of a texture, it actually manipulates the airflow and creates a faster surface overall. Bogo says engineers are constantly tweaking and may make changes even in Sochi. They want athletes to perform at the highest level with a leg up from the latest technology. Vanita Nair, CBS News, New York.